is episode 38 of Keeping Up With Geek Bros podcast. Thanks for tuning in to Keeping Up With Geek Bros video recap episode 38. Stay tuned for the shenanigans. Um, this is going to be a quick one. That's what she said. That is what she said. <laughs> <laughs>
um, you're gonna see the trajectory of painting them. So far, they're primed. So if you see the picture in Instagram, oh, is that what that was? Primed. Yes. Oh, I thought it was just you just finally opened it. That's no, what I thought no, it was. They're not that color. They're gray. So I just primed them. So now we wait. I'm waiting for he, the he color. He primed them. Yep. Optimus Prime. And zing, now, zing, zing. Tomorrow comes with paint. So that's the next step. You should record a little bit of that. If you can, like, set your phone up on a tripod, send me the footage, I'll stitch it together, and I'll speed it up. Okay. It'll be uh, one of those one of those um, fabled Wancho uh, uh, Presents. All right, there we go. See, there you go. We all Always do we work. Yes. Okay, so with that being said, Wancho, what brings us here today? The worthy, the worthy comic book of the week. We have the movie standout of the week. And for video game time, because Vibe wants to go deep in details, we're going to talk about a meteor that fell. We're going to talk about the souls that are so dark. We're going to talk about FIFA. That is still fifa -ing. We're going to talk about Nintendo Life. Usually we're going to talk about the classic arcade game that's coming to the Switch. Mitomo. And for Anime Invasion, Dark Clover Review. I so love far. Cloverfield. Uh, open mic. It's going to be short, but we got some Teen Titans. That's what she said. Ant-Man Theory. Avengers Theory. Thanos MCU versus Thanos Comic. And for Hot Mic Time, Star Wars, The Down Effect. I just and want to say that I that that um that as I looked at Juancho's phone, it says wifey and it's a big hard no. <laughs> so you know what he asked for. Exactly. Damn. I was trying to Family podcast. <laughs> Damn it. I'll have to figure so out. So let's get to it, Juancho. Time for the fresh scent. Fresh scent. So the worthy comic book of the week, since I read the comic book vibes, since you and vibe and you you vibe you and Dark Flex gave me issues about this. I read Avengers number one, the reset to Marvel's Universe. They reset again? So... Are they going to reset the they MCU? Always reset. No, I don't know. Okay. So the Marvel, this one takes place after the whole shenanigans about everything and, and whatever. Your phone vibrates too hard. And... <laughs> I like it when it vibrates. No, I'm sorry, but all right. If you, 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 you guys see, if you guys watching us in a couple of days, he has it mounted on the right so, side on the top. Hold on, on the top of the studio, and when it vibrates, I feel it at the bottom left by my speaker. So I'm just like, that's a hard vibrate. That's what she said. That is what that's she said. Family so podcast. The, dark, the 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 series picks up where Tony Stark. Spoilers, by the way. Tony Stark as wakes up from a coma. A coma. From um, a coma. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thor, Thor, Thor finally becomes Thor again. Oh God. Um, the God he's Thor worthy is, again. Yeah, he's worthy again. And Hulk, no, 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 Hulk. And Captain America is back to being Captain America. He's not the evil Captain America from Hydra. Oh wait, did they split? So, can but, you tell me off off air how that happened? Which one? How um, how he how he got he became un Hydra Captain America. Tell me off. I air, don't know though. how. You don't know how? No, I just know that he and that this one he he's now officially non Hydra. He's now part of the Captain America world again. Huh. So this one takes place after the ancients are falling from the sky and uh, Tony's like hesitant to try to assemble the Avengers again after the whole shenanigans, after what happened with Civil War 2. I don't know, a big mess. All I know is that I just restarted, so we'll see how this comic issue goes. Do you? Is it Juancho approved? Yes, it is Juancho approved. That's why it's worthy comic book of the week. Okay. All I, right. I, I got a little silent there because you know what? I, I wanted to make a joke, but yeah. you're actually right. You're yeah. right. What do you think he said is right? <laughs> he's right. He's, 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 see how he throws me in the bus? He's, he, see how he talks to me? I said, is it Juan Room? He's like, oh, of course it is. It's under Worthy Comic Books. I know. You, I just got to keep him in check once crap. in a while. Next, the, comic, the movie standard of the week, still Infinity War because I said so. If you have a problem with it, email us at GeekBros. <laughs> 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 That is so funny. Um, no, but real joke. Uh, all jokes aside, Infinity War actually is quite amazing. It, you know, it's 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 oh, it's not as it's it's just beneath Black Panther in my opinion, but it is amazing. It is not a cluster f like 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 uh, 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 you know like you would think with all those characters. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets to just do. You know, you're gonna see in our our uh, review. You're gonna you heard it last week. We can't stop talking about it. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna go see it again tomorrow. All right. For my third time. Because there's just so much nuance in it, and it's beautiful. So, so Juancho, I, I concur with Juancho. All right, there you go. Take this at a grain of salt because it really happens. So, video game time. Um, we're going to be talking about today a couple of important things here. But before I do, let's talk about the games that are coming this week. Killing 4, Incrusion for the PS4. Super Mega Baseball 2 for the PS4. And it's free for Xbox One users, by the way. So, those who have it, I'm pretty sure it is, if that's the same one. But check for me guys who play Xbox. Animal Super Squad for the Switch. 
RK Archive 10 Yard Fight for the Switch is the first football game coming to the Switch. ACA Neo Geo Stakes winners for the Switch. Nihulumbra uh, for the Switch. Timber vs. for the Switch. Don't Die Mr. Robot for the Switch. Johnny's Turbo Arcade Slice Spy for the Switch. Perfect Angle for the Switch. Dialand for the PS4. Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia for the PC. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Switch. And Early Access of Star Trek Adversaries for the PC. So, game there that I want to check out is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I don't think this game got its due just for in the Wii U. I think this game will be great as a handheld, especially for the Switch. You do get to play with Funky Kong. It's a little bit different way of playing it. I guess it's more of like those who want to enjoy the game and don't have to worry about dying. He comes with six lives and he uses his hoverboard, his, his surfboard to hover over traps. So you really don't have much of a hard mode type of game with when you play with Funky Kong. He does bring, he does bring, <laughs> he does bring his own type of funk to the game. Uh, you can switch back and forth between levels, but um, in levels you can switch between levels. But Funky Kong is it's, it's pretty legit. I saw some of the gameplay, I, I and I enjoyed it. Fantastic. Now for final, finally the meteor has failed. Remember back in a while we were talking about Fortnite. Yes. So with no more see heat seeking missiles or yes. whatever. Yes. So this article is coming from Polygon. Here all the new stuff from Fortnite season four battle pass. Um, they're talking that there's different skins now. There's different emotes. One of the big notes for season four was they finally gave justice to the orange kid. But this dance really wasn't from the orange kid. It was from those goths. Who's the orange kid? I don't know. There was an orange kid who was doing this dance. Um, okay. And and he and he does a, remember those, the video for the goths that are like just chilling there, not suddenly they start making these noises with their hands. Nope. Okay. Well, this is the emote. <laughs> Um, and another thing that finally happened uh, for those Fortnite users, the meteor that was supposed to be theory, like it was rumored, finally fell. So there's a new area with new alien weapons and skins and all this stuff. So finally, the meteor has fell. It did not fell on the city, Twin Peaks, I think it was Where called. Where did it fall? In the middle of the map. So now you have a big crater in the map. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Those who play Fortnite, I, I don't play Fortnite. Joey Fire Fortnite. plays Fortnite ritualistically. I mean, I'm so, talking about every day he plays. I, I don't know. I'm getting him later on today. Guess what he's going to do when he gets home? Fortnite. Exactly. Does he do his homework? I, I, you don't have to ask now. I'm concerned. Yeah, I'll be concerned too. I'm concerned. You know what else I'm concerned? About this new network test that's going to be happening on May 11th for Dark Souls. Oh! Good transition. Zing, zing, so, zing. So download the Dark Souls Remastered Network Test Client now. This article is coming from Polygon, the only source where Geek Bros. The only news. source? Bandai Namco will give players a chance to try out Dark Souls Remastered with its network test during the weekend of May 11th. The network test will be available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Players will be tested the game on Friday, May 11th and Saturday, May 12th from 6 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Pacific Eastern Time each day. The test version will be limited to the Undead Parish location and, and have players summoning co-op partners or invade other games. Ben Dyke Namco says in an announcement, the Dark Souls Remaster Network test clients available in download starting today. This article was published on May 1st. So this article, maybe two, three days ago, this um this is live. So we're now May 3rd, so go guys, check it out. See what's going on with that. As we keep the train hot and moving, FIFA is getting a huge update just in time for the World Cup. Remember the old FIFA game, World Cup games? I sure remember. They were only like 20, 20 I bucks. love FIFA they were and only, FIFA-ing. They were only 20 bucks, so it only kept the players, the the world teams. Well, EA Sports is going to drop the 28 FIFA World Cup Russian patch just in time for the World Cup. That update is scheduled to drop on May 29th for PC, no, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and a Nintendo, 6, Nintendo Switch on June 6th for mobile. Instead of making an entire separate game like the old days, this update will choose from the 32 nations that qualify and compete in online matches, online friendlies, and online tournament modes. The update will also feature the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia graphics and all the 12 stadiums from Russia. In addition to that, you'll be able to create your own custom tournament and select licensed national teams in FIFA 18. That means you can make your own World Cup tournament team that includes in the United States, even though they didn't make the tournament. What would you want to play with losers? I mean, honestly, you had such a good team. You know, this is besides not geek news, but this really upsets me. I was rooting for the U.S. to make it into the World Cup, and they disappoint me. Like, I'm really upset about that. Like, 
you don't expect a team that is has potential like the United States to be not participating in the World Cup. Yo, that team needs to get it together if they want to compete because they're a mess. That has been the rant for Juancho. So, Nintendo Lifetime, because life is Nintendo and Nintendo is life. So, there was an article that was passed on to Polygon.com. Nintendo plans to plant online meme makers following the death of Mirimoto, Mitomo. A a browser-based meme maker keeps up characters alive. As it prepares to shut down a social networked app, Mitomo, Nintendo has revealed that it will give fans a new way to create and share their personal meme characters, a browser-based meme maker tool which will launch by by May's end, according to the in-game news alert. Below is how Nintendo explains the forthcoming online meme maker feature from the notification sent out in Mitomo players on April 30th. With the end of the Mitomo service, it will no longer be possible to create or edit me characters using Mitomo, but we are planning to add a feature late in May 2018, which will enable you to create and edit me characters for your Nintendo account via your web browser of choice. In order to add this feature, we will be performing system migration maintenance from the end of Mitomo service until late May 2018. During this period, you will not be able to change your me character to set your, to your Nintendo account, including codes and accessories. Additional changes made to the Mii character for your Network ID will not be applied to your Nintendo a character account. So, guys, if you guys are into that, that's just something that I wanted to share with everyone. I mean, who cares? But, anyways. A classic arcade shooter, Ikura Ikaruga, heads to the Switch. Ikaruga, the beloved arcade shoot 'em up is heading to a modern console later this month for the first time. A Nintendo Switch version of the classic game will launch on May 29th for $15, published Sharon Nicales announced today. The first release of the 2001 by Sega, Ikaruga won acclaim for its popularity system, polarity system. Players can switch between black and white polarities, and each one enables them to absorb corresponding enemy hits and reuse the energy for special attacks. So, Guys, you guys into that old school shoot 'em up type of game? That game is coming out for the Switch. Now this is where Vibe pays attention to me. Oh, not yet. Sorry, one more topic. <laughs> this is also uh, boring. Anime Invasion. So, since I have the Funimation account and I have the Crunchyroll account, and, and he has and, and Netflix and Hulu and on demand and yeah. So the Netflix, the the um, Dark Clover on Funimation is strictly English. Well, the one in Crunchyroll is a little bit more advanced and strictly in Japanese. So, if I want to, once I caught up with Funimation... When you say advanced, you mean like it's 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 not edited, it's more it's censored on, on Funimation? Meaning that, it's, or, meaning or that the, or the, or uh, the episodes are more advanced, meaning that they're more... Full. Oh, they're further ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So far in the Funimation, um, you are in episode 27. Um, spoilers, by the way. Um, the main character, Asta, he finally Asta. is um, rescued by... Um, the prince of uh, oh thieves? God. No, not the thieves. No, 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 no. Prince of Wales? He saved. No, what's his name? Oh, man, I just really blinked just now. A uh, wizard king. The wizard king saves them and takes that's them back to the prince. <laughs> and, and, and takes them back to the, to, the, to the kingdom. And now that's where the second journey is going to end that, you know, they're coming in and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, Dark Clover is an interesting feeling to me. I like this anime a lot. The only thing that I have a problem with Asta, his character Asta. is very annoying. He's very whiny. I don't know if you ever saw the um, f- fairy tale, the anime. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love fairy tale. No, you haven't watched. <laughs> you haven't watched. Yeah, it. Talking to you is like talking to a big wolf about anime. Well, <laughs> the the main fairy tale character is as loud as Asta, but it said Asta doesn't have power, so he's just whining every single time about, oh, I'm gonna do this because I don't have magic. I can do this because I don't have magic, and he just becomes a nuisance. But the anime overall is great. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 6. Good. Well, Quantro approves. So check out Dark Clover on either Funimation or Crunchyroll or wherever your anime needs are fulfilled. Yes, or Tokyo TV. Before we move on, I just have to say that I am digging the haircut, man. Juancho is looking really handsome I'm getting ready today. for my graduation, He's bro. He's letting it go. GED. You know, I'm telling you, man. And he worked really hard on getting his GED. I sure did. Yes, he did. Many times I'm done recording stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So, Vibe is excited for this one. Vibe, where's the, where's the other movie? You Which didn't one? open it. You didn't oh. open Teen Titans. 
We're going to talk about that, that Teen tells, Titans. That tells you why. Teen Titans. I'm mad that this, this gets a movie. I don't like Teen Titans Go. I think it's the, it's the dumbest thing ever. Teen Titans, the original series. Now, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's hit do play. I, do I have to? Yes. We're going to review. And it's in English. Teen Titans Go, <laughs> the movie. Coming this summer. They're finally going to make a movie about me. The story of that. Oh, cool. Is and best friend in the whole world. Finally! Alfred, the movie. It's time to clean up this city. Why do I make him sound so stupid? That actually does look pretty good. I, I, I won't lie, that's not kind of good. With the quick view, does this song scream Teen Titans? Has there been a movie about you? There was a Green Lantern movie, but we don't we don't talk about that. <laughs> I'm make one about me. I'm afraid it's no. I only make movies about real superheroes. Why don't they take us seriously? Titans, you guys are never actually doing anything heroic. What about that time we discovered that sweet diner and they had that food? <laughs> that wasn't even a crime. You didn't save anything. We saved room for design. <laughs> <laughs> Movie is the only way to be seen as a real hero. What about an arch nemesis? Slade! Stop right there! Deadpool? Deadpool? What? Why does everybody think I'm Deadpool? I thought Deadpool was a good guy. By the way, he should be saying that he's not me. Okay, because I came out like way before he did. Nah, I'm pretty sure you're Deadpool. <laughs> I am <laughs> if we can make him our arch nemesis, then they will see that we're worthy of a movie. Oh snap! I'm interested in fighting a bunch of sidekicks and a half a robot. Oh man, I'm never letting you fly my body again. The whole world will be under my control. Woo. Destroy them. Oh, oh snap! Oh, for the mighty. Oh, oh, oh. Watch me, watch me, watch yes. Me. Do this. It's always been more than a music. You got to wait on the back of my cruise. So look, watch me, watch me, watch me. Oh. We're taking you down. How are you going to do it? Are you going to fart on me? You want to have a dance off? You're going to annoy me to death with your waffles? He <laughs> was waffles away. Okay, okay, okay. So are you in Okay, now? okay. That was that was tight work. I wouldn't even lie to you. That that trailer was tight work. I so like that a lot. Is this a DC movie that we we've been waiting for? I think. Well, I think this is in the vein of of uh, Lego Batman. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. I I completely completely withdraw my criticism. I'm all in. I want to check this out. Yeah. I want to check this out so hard that I want to um because they, they're doing what I like is they're giving jabs and it makes the movie feel more. Fun. It, it fits right in with those jabs. Exactly. Like exactly. They're bringing the third with the fourth my, wall. My, my uh let's not talk about the green lantern movie right yeah because we, we, don't, we don't we don't talk about that one yeah that's a, that didn't even happen and i and i guarantee and i guarantee they're gonna make jabs about about the dc universe and how True. and how it's 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 falling apart or, or whatever yeah. oh no facebook um uh all right that was actually really good you know I, i'm excited about it we might even is this gonna be the first cartoon we yeah. might review we've never yeah. reviewed a cartoon yeah on, we did we oh, not on the podcast no on a podcast or on we, we did batman Lego Batman? Yeah. Well, that's not a... That's not, no, okay. we didn't. No, we never did. Oh, yeah, we did. We never that. did Lego so Batman. Be, it'd be, be the, the first, first cartoon. cartoon. I guarantee you guys, we're going to go see it. We're going to dress in, in, in Teen Titans shirts, and we're going to review Teen Titans, Teen Titans Go. Go. Um, it'll be the very first cartoon ever reviewed on the Geek Bros main web series, and I'm thrilled to death about this. All right. Let's do it. So you know what else we're going to do? What are we going to do? Ant-Man. The new Ant-Man so, trailer. how long have you been Ant-Man again? No, uh... It just sort of happened. I wish I could fight bad guys like you. Ha! Oh, oh! I seem to mess it up almost every time. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Oh! Oh, she is good! Like a partner. Dr. Pin, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. And now she wants to take over the world or whatever. Oh, it's her. Who would have believed that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. 
Because we robbed Oh, them. they're back. Do you remember? That's us. The only chance we've got is both of you. Ant-Man and the Wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. Yes. Yes. She seems more intense. Oh, I feel lose. You go low, I go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? Oh my god. Look at that. What I miss? We were just tiny. I was partners with Hank on a project called Goliath. How big did you get? My record: twenty-one feet. You? Sixty-five feet. Sixty-five. If you two are finished comparing sizes, <laughs> sixty-five. <laughs> So we have another. That is cool. That looks really good. So that brings. That's actually enjoy the trailer. I, I think the no. two. I, I'm telling you guys right now. Why don't you just put a smile on my face? I'm feeling great now. Uh, two great trailers. This leads to the Ant Man theory as to what this is going to be spoilers right across the board until we get to Star Wars. By the way, so if you want to. So, so, you, so just, just, just what you're saying is. Back and just look at the, so, the, so what you're saying is from here on forth, spoiler alert. Yeah, exactly. So, my theory about Ant-Man, they're too busy fighting that thing. Right at the end of the movie, or the end credit scene, is where you're going to see that transition between Ant-Man and what's going on with Thanos. I agree. I think that's what you're going to see, because they're being busy. Because the movie jumped. I mean, it jumped places to places, so you really don't know the day-to-day of how far. Well, it takes place initially right after Civil War. And from in, 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 in Infinity War, they said that both Hawkeye and Ant-Man took a deal where they are on house arrest and that's why they weren't in in uh, originally there for mm-hmm. avengers so it looks like yeah that makes sense that he's gonna break his house arrest he's gonna do some other thing because it looks like hank broke open the the, the quantum world yep. probably looking probably looking for for janet yep and um this to this person actually i wouldn't be surprised that's not janet herself to be honest but uh, oh no michelle pfeiffer's playing yeah. her so that's not her well, i i'm excited i can't really wait to see what what really happens to ant man and where the, where he's been because i know him and, and, and uh hawkeye were really good they look like they had some chemistry, so probably yeah. we can see some Hawkeye, maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe. maybe. I would be surprised if Hawkeye doesn't show up. Why not? Maybe exactly. that makes sense. Maybe that's the reason why they're not there. Uh, kind of like how uh, Thor and Hulk weren't yeah. there, and they kind of were teamed up in their own movie. That's not a bad idea. No. That is not a bad idea. I, I predict that Ant-Man and the Wasp will end with with um, with uh, 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 the Wasp and Hank and all of them vanishing, out, leaving only ant-man he's like what's going on yeah. because i'm watching ages of shield and guess what we're reaching that part where, where it's that crossover they're not gonna do anything with it you know what they said real quick something's going on right now in in uh in upstate new jersey or something like that at a lighthouse a, uh, um, a spaceship has come but it's blacked out that entire area so nobody can talk to them nobody can talk out so when when um quake daisy johnson she's going looking for something spoiler alert to save colson because he's dying yeah. okay when she meets up with her contact he says he says, man, the world's going crazy. Do you hear what do you hear what's going on in New York? And she goes, right now, we're dealing with so much right now, I haven't even looked at the news. And that was their quick little snide yeah. saying, Hey, listen, something's going on in New York. But because they're, they're stuck dealing with their own thing, they can't even pay attention yeah. to what's happening. So that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. So the the moves on to the Avengers theory, which um Vibe made a good point when we were in the in a, in a group chat that they left all the main characters who are going to her contracts are up or right. coming up. Well, all the original, the core yeah. original Avengers, yeah. Are left. And the other one. Now Darflex hates uh, female superheroes, and that we like, I think we everybody pretty guessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, Captain uh, Captain Marvel has the ability to turn back time, or she does. I, I think Captain Marvel is the one that's going to be able to save them, and she's not going to be able to save the new characters. I think the new some of the new characters I will probably die in a, this. From what I understand, though, there is a time travel effort from some leaked set photos. Mm-hmm. They go back in time to the first Battle of New York, and mm-hmm. you actually see uh, Ant Man. Standing there with Tony Stark and and um, uh, Captain America in his old thing, yeah. exactly his old. Element. So there is apparently a time travel um, port 
what, to the, uh, what to the next Avengers movie. Remember that um, during the movie, no, and now uh, Doctor Strange said there's only one chance for we won. Right. What if this is the one chance where they win? Well, that's what it is. I mean, he he did and he, his one and chance because he, he could have stopped um, Star Lord from beating him up. He could have stopped them. Yeah, he could have reversed but time. He didn't. Right. So I'm pretty sure this is the time where they win. But how? I'm quite interested. That's what I'm saying. I believe that that in every other instance, they tried to keep the the, the time stone away from him, and they and everybody died or whatever mm-hmm. it was. And then and the only way that it, nobody you know that they won was that Doctor Strange had to give the time stone because the time stone you can't take it without um, getting over that yeah. spell. So he had to actually give it to him and not fight. So that's the difference. It looks like probably all of the millions they fought. And it's one time you have to give it away, and yeah. that's how and how it happened. I, I'm, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Oh, I'm, I'm dying to know. I mean, unlike the Last Jedi, I actually want to know what the next movie is going to be about. So, the this moves next to the Thanos. I mean, there's been a lot of comments. I'm not, I haven't read article, but comments about how Thanos is different from the Thanos in comic books. I know Thanos from comic books, and I now see the MCU Thanos. They're two different Thanos. Absolutely, two opinion. different characters. Yeah. Thanos in comic books is ruthless. I don't care. He's uh, a mad titan. He's a mad. And he's he, in love with death. There's a scene where he squished freaking Captain Amer- Captain America's head. Oh, snap. This And like you literally went... Whoosh. Damn. Like an ant. This Thanos looks more like an anti-hero. I don't know. He's weird. He's, no, he's a villain, but he's a villain with purpose. He is He is a conflicted villain. Yes. That's what he is. But I don't... He's not... Don't he's know. not... He's not you know, I, I'm mad and, and, and evil for the sake of being evil or because I want to court death, you know. he Even though they kind of but, messed with but, that. Yeah, but now, how are you going to court the Red Red Skull? I mean, come on. I mean, is that well, what no, I, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think Red Skull was, was meant to embody death, but then I, I don't think they're going that route. There's going to be no death. He's not in love with death. His main focus was he survived um, his home world being destroyed. He doesn't want to see it happen anymore. And, it, it, and the he I, I think he is the product of emotional scarring. I think he has trauma. And his but trauma where? from watching, from 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 his home world. But his home world, the re- he the one that destroyed it. He didn't destroy it. Well, the people did. Yeah, because but, it was overpopulated. But, but he's overpopulated, and you're gonna kill innocents to reduce the population. So that's crazy that you're gonna be almost. He's a pro- he is a product of, of emotional scarring, and 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 he's a part of his circumstances. He said it happened once, and he said, you know what, never again. I'm gonna make sh- nobody listen to me before. It's fine. I'm gonna take it out on on the whole on the whole world. He's justified because he lived through it. You know what I'm saying? And he believes his way is the right way for everybody. True. So, True. Um, you know, not to say he's right, but I will say that he is a conflicted villain as opposed to the comics where all he wants to do is kill people just, just because he's, he, you know, he wants to, to date some, some embodiment of death and he's yeah. nuts. Well, I do. I did enjoy this story. I did enjoy, I did enjoy this Thanos. I like more of the comic book Thanos maybe because you know I've seen been used to it yeah but why would you want another rah I want to take over the world uh, bad guy you've had plenty of them in the MCU well I really hope that they can I mean the MCU is MCU I, that's why I'm not complaining I'm, not, I'm like I enjoyed it because really the did. last three bad guys um, uh, uh, the, the Vulture uh, the Killmonger Killmonger and Thanos they were more complex villains yeah than they we've were seen. they've been they, have, they been. haven't been they, like exactly. what's his name um, from the uh, Spider-Man where he's like I want to take over the world but yeah. these are just hero yeah, they have, villains because they have a purpose to be bad no but not, purpose, exactly they, they're all a victim of, of circumstance mm-hmm. and those are the best kind of villains they're a victim of circumstance but I enjoyed this Thanos like I said I have enjoyed it yes. but I really like more of the comic book version they just want them to go nuts exactly I actually do now time for the hot mic time hot mic okay uh, you know, you're supposed, to, okay. you're supposed to go hot mic time. Oh, time for the hot mic time. Hot mic. Mucho caliente. Arriba! Thank you, Juancho. So, this, thank you, you're welcome. Muchas gracias. Star Wars down, down effect. What does that mean? Well, it means I Star saw, Wars is over. Again, Last Jedi because. Yes, <laughs> because, 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 because you're at the glutton for punishment? Pretty much. And I think to myself, I'm like, okay, you know what? Disney, you're so great for doing. Um, oh, by the way, this is sidetracking. Tomorrow, um, Star Wars Celebration announcement is coming out. So, guys, stay tuned to that. Um, your location for the next Star Wars Celebration will be out. Back to back to the road. So, the Star Wars <laughs> down effect. What does that mean? Well, when Disney bought LucasArts or Lucasfilms or whatever it is, I was excited. I was pumped. They're going to be pumping Star Wars nonstop. Fine. But the problem that I'm having is the content that they're pumping out too fast. And they're trying... They're ruining a lot of the story. 
Not saying that I not a, I'm I'm not gonna be a Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but the stories that they've coming up with lately are weird. Like the, I've been a fan of the Last Jedi, and I'm, I I stand my ground because yes, I I was all about it. I'm still all about it, but I'm just we, I just really hope that they could have done some so much better with Luke's story, so much better with Ray's parents, so much better with Kylo. So how can you still be a fan of this movie because if I you mean, still wish for more? Because I, That's not a fan. That means, that I means, enjoyed that a means, lot of the movie in, in certain aspects. Like Kanto, I love Kanto Bucket You like so Kanto? Much. What was about Kanto Bucket that you like? I like the city so much. It just, I just really enjoyed that that scene, the fight scene right there. It was what fight enjoyed. scene? It was a fight scene. Where the little robots pew pew shooting at them while they were riding the horses. Oh, the chase scene. Yeah. Too fast, too furious on tauntauns or whatever they're called. The horsies. They're but <laughs> now we have. Where the wild things are, horsies. And the resistance. Now we have a new series called the resistance. They're supposed to. But Disney, why are you just not make? Why don't you just make a movie good? And don't have to rely on your animated series, your book series, and your comic book series to fill gaps. What that you means t- you're not doing something correct. Then I'm just filling gaps. There, there's continuity errors because in the in the Force Awakens novelization, Ray and Poe met in the mm-hmm. book. Okay, what the heck, man? And then in the movie they meet again. So the books aren't aren't canon then. So there's con- there's major con- there's something else in the Last Jedi. I forget what it was that um, is also a continuity error based upon what the book is and what what, what they're saying. It's an issue here. I mean you. You're so quick to want to throw this out there, but nobody's taking the time to be like, listen, let's if it's all gonna connect, then we need to stand by our word. That's huge. People have been talking about this forever. Ray and Poe met in the novelization of The Force Awakens. The novelization is just an extended of the movie. They're supposed mm-hmm. to go hand in hand. Nope, they met again in in The Last Jedi. So the books are non canon now. Oh, Disney, Disney. I mean, you guys, whoever, Ken- Kennedy, Kathy Kennedy, you gotta get it together. I mean, I don't know how much more. Listen, your biggest movie, Disney's big movie is now Marvel, and you were th- and we thought we were gonna have superhero um, fatigue. Fatigue, but we're actually not. Eight hundred billion dollars now, or is it eight hundred million? That they're basically surpassed already the first opening scene of all the Star Wars movies and everything. Yeah. But Star Wars is something beautiful, something that needs to be nurtured correctly. And you know what I? You know what I heard nurtured. is that is that I've been listening to a lot of commentary that unlike Star like, Trek or. <laughs> Unlike Star Trek or or um, anything like that, Star Wars is a big galaxy but a very small window of opportunity. All you know about is the Rebels versus the um, the Empire, the the Resistance versus the First Order. When we try and stray away from that, i.e., the prequels, mm-hmm. people may not like that. You don't have much wiggle room with with Star Wars universe. And I, and I don't, I'm afraid that when I heard that statement, I said, "Wait a minute." You're right. I mean, can you do a Star Wars comedy? I don't know. Can you do? Can you do a um um, like like why did the um why did the Clone Wars do so well? Why? Because it was basically just two sides, yeah. light and dark, fighting each other. You know, and so it asks you a question: Can the show or can Star Wars really survive without that light versus dark dichotomy? Yeah. You know, I guess Solo, a Star Wars story, which is probably going to be a heist movie. That might be give us an idea, but even Rogue One was still light versus dark, yeah. and uh, you know, and it worked out kind of. I mean, again, as as things roll on, as Rebels went went by, and as Last Jedi, I love me some Rogue One now. Rogue One is the ish to me now. So the question is, can Disney figure out how to expand beyond the dichotomy of good versus evil and tell more compelling stories? I think if they reach out to Marvel, they're no, I rich. think they need to. I think they need to, to to really go back into the treasure trove of the extended universe the extended universe went everywhere they had horror they had mystery they had fighting they had they had, they had politics they had love they had they had um you know yeah. comedy you're gonna have to go into and see because remember the extended universe is what kept star wars alive true go back into the treasure trove see what they did see what worked and and do it and do it well you know you heard it here guys just do it thank you exactly all Industry right free stuff well, thanks for tuning in to Keep Up the Geek Bros, episode 38. I've been Vibe. This is Juancho. And um, Juancho, before we go, give those people our social media again. For the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's Geek Bros with the zero, that's E-E-K-B-R-0-S, and the email at yahoo.com. Yep, check it out. Give us an email to tell us what, what you want to do, blah, 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 blah. This is a Vibe Studios production, vibrobstudios.com. And remember, guys, I love you all. Keep up.
keep it up with the keep bro. Thanks for tuning in to episode 38 video recap. We gotta get going, it's a little shorter than usual, but I'm telling you, we love you. Yes, we do. Very much. Check the Instagram. Keeping up with the Geek Bros. Make sure it's not timing out. For your auditory pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>